Let's look at this problem. It's passing through negative 2, 3. And they tell us the x-intercept is 4. Now, it appears like they don't give us enough information. But remember, when they give you the x-intercept, they're giving you a point. So this is 4, 0. So now we're ready to go through our steps. We have a formula when given two points uh, to find a slope. Uh, it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now this is our first point, so I'll label this as x1, y1. This is our second point, so this will be our x2, y2. Now before you plug in your numbers, it's a good idea to go through and put parentheses in. Helps reduce uh, sign errors. Now y2 we said is 0, y1 is 3 x2 is 4 and x1 is negative 2. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Negative negative gives us positive, so we got 4 plus 2. So we've got negative 3, 6, which reduces to negative 1 half. Well, step 2. Plug in the given point for x and y. I'm going to choose the x-intercept here, the 4, 0. It'll be easier. I'll plug this in for x, plug that in for y. So we said 0 is y, and m was negative 1 half, and x is 4, plus b, and then solve for b. Well, negative 1 half times 4 gives us negative 2 plus b. Take negative 2 to the left side, and we get b is equal to 2. Step 3. Plug in the m we found from step 1, which we said was negative 1 half. Plug in the b from step 2, which we said was 2. And I'll do a quick check on this, but let me plug in negative 2. Okay, that gives us, yeah, that checks. Plug in 4, and that one checks. So our answer is y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 2.